I never think as a woman. I think as the person I'm writing about. I think that's the key. I've always written in the first person and I always see the world with their eyes. I think a crucial thing for a novelist is empathy. You have to have a lot of empathy. It's something a, a good shrink once said to me. He said, the reason why you have to be empathetic towards other people is because when you look at someone else, you're seeing someone in the middle of a huge struggle. I think that's actually very true. And I, I try to bring that to bear when I write. Well, one of the very nice things about being a novelist is you actually get to control life on the page. Uh, you can never control life in, in, in real life because there are always other people. There's always the happenstantial nature of life, things that you never see coming which actually suddenly arrive. I think I believe that fate happens after choice. I don't believe in kind of great bromides about life or great epigrammatic statements about life, but there is one statement which I happened across and which everyone knows, which is from Novalis, the 19th century German poet, which I actually think nails it. And that's, character is destiny. I actually think that is absolutely true. I think your character very much controls your destiny. Outside of that, if we want to talk existentially or metaphysically, the fact is, you can try to construct a life, for example, as I know certain people have stone by stone trying to build this very solid foundation, and yet something can come along and completely upend it. There's nothing like a, there's no such sense of a solid structure in life because life is random, it's happenstantial, and frequently very unfair. In my books, the happenstantial always plays a role because I think life can be upended in a moment. Is it dangerous to be a romantic with someone who's recently fallen in love, you know? Uh, no, I don't think at all. I think love, though, is two things. Love is the great search that we all have. We're always searching for it. Love is also the great dilemma because it's how you merge with another person. It's the other aspect of love as well is it changes and also love becomes the day-to-day. -day. If you start living with someone, if you get married, Certainly, if you have children, it changes as well. Uh, that's the challenging aspect of love, when suddenly it's not romance, but it is quotidian.